What happened? You, you rescued me. Oh, thank you. Oh, and have you seen my brother? His name is Li Ding. We were climbing the mountain together. But then I... Well, I don't know. Did I get swallowed up by the amber? I think I must have been knocked out. I just hope he didn't get trapped in amber too. All right then. I won't bother you anymore. Thanks again. I'm going to find my brother now. I really hope he's okay. My brother told me everything. Thank you both so much for rescuing him. <sighs> Our family has nothing to live on. We heard tell of treasures hidden in the amber of Mount Hulao. And with nowhere else to turn, we came looking for them. <sighs> <sighs> we weren't thinking straight. We thought that we could sneak up into the mountain and grab just enough treasure to sell and support our family with. As you can see, the Adeptus punished us for our greed. The Amber swallowed me up, but if you hadn't come to my rescue, who knows what I would have gotten out. Luckily, the Adeptus was merciful. They sent you two as their messengers to save us. Yes! You two saved my brother just as I was praying for the Adeptus' forgiveness. Right here on top of the mountain. Mm. You are Adepti messengers, no doubt about it. We are truly blessed to receive the mercy of the Adeptus. We promise that we will change our ways and make an honest living from now on, even if it means sweating it out down at the docks. Anyway, we have trespassed in the realm of this Adeptus long enough. We should get going. Thank you, mighty Adepti messengers. Yes, thank you. Super helpful if we actually were Adepti messengers. Cause it seems like this Adeptus has got a real temper problem. But it's not like we've done anything wrong, so... Oof. Who dares trespass on my mountain? Who is it? Foolish mortal. Come forth and receive your punishment You intrude upon the sanctity of Mount Hulao. You destroy the amber of my mountain. And you free a thief whose freedom is not yours to give. The thieves' ignorance was an affront to the Adepti. But your actions are an abomination of the highest order. Wait! We can explain! A sigil of permission. One was unaware that such things still exist in the mortal realm. In the beginning, Rex Lapis cast them for the mortals with his own hand. Few were made then, and thousands of years on, fewer still remain. Speak. One shall listen to the matter which brings you here. Then one shall verify the truth thereof. You would be wise to speak the truth. For Liyue is not so far from here that one would be easily deceived. Rex Lapis... assassinated? At the rite of dissension? What mortal in Liyue, nay in all the world, would conspire to commit such foul treason? Or perhaps the more pertinent question is... What power in this world could aspire to achieve it? 
Rex Lapis charged the Adepti with the protection of Liyue, and we have always honored this duty. As the people have prospered, so have we gradually withdrawn into the mountains. Indeed, this was a gesture of goodwill towards humanity. But now, alas, Rex Lapis, gone. Traveler, of the matter you have relayed, one has become aware. One now knows why Moon Carver has sent for us. Once one has dealt with certain matters here that require my attention, one shall convene with the other Adepti. Hyman can! Adepti always have magical powers in storybooks. Seems it's true in real life, too. You know, like how grass is actually Adepti hair, and rivers are actually Adepti saliva. There must be something similar going on with the Amber. Your nonsense knows no bounds. This Amber is produced by a flower that one has planted here, called the Karst Crawler. The majority of the plant is hidden underground. When stepped on, it produces Amber to trap the invader. After taking up residence here, one planted many karst crawlers to ensure that the tranquility of the mountain would remain undisturbed. Over the years, they have helped to prevent many disturbances. But in the process, they have also trapped many curious things. Oh, so the Amber is alive? Correct. Thus, one may not leave this place in its current state for fear of the risk to innocent lives in one's absence. One will depart as soon as one has attended to this matter. One trusts that the manner of your departure will be swifter in nature.
It's very clean here. Whoever cooked here last obviously likes to keep things neat and tidy. Paimon bets they were making an offering to the Adepti. Looks like we got us some Matsutake and some raw meat. And what do you know? The recipe is right here. This chef was a super organized person. I suppose this will do. <laughs> By royal decree! here before. Do you think they were making an offering? Looks like they didn't use all the ingredients. Let's see here. We got some snapdragon, some lotus heads, some tofu. Whatever they were cooking, it sounds complicated. Hey, look over there. They left some notes too. Yup. It's a doozy. Paimon's not surprised they had to write it all down. It's a lot to remember. We should read it carefully. made of flour and meat. Huh? Our messy chef dropped a piece of paper on the floor. Ew, and there's a huge footprint on... But footprint aside, maybe it has something to do with this mystery dish. I'm so curious.
One senses the presence of a sigil of permission. One knows not why you have come, though the sincerity of your offering is clear. Hence, you shall be granted an opportunity. Find your way through mine abode, and you shall receive an audience with the Adeptus whom you seek. Supporting fire! Stop it! <laughs> Oz, reveal thyself! Don't get too close!
royal decree. Don't get too close.
One is most impressed. The path that leads through this abode defies those of ordinary abilities.
The one before you is the Adeptus Cloud Retainer. Now speak of the matter which brings you here. You surmise correctly. This place did one self-build, as did one design the mechanisms within. In fact, even Gui Zhang and Rex Lapis themselves found one's technological accomplishments to be worthy of commendation. This place is huge, and there are so many mechanisms! Do you really have this whole place to yourself? What's it even for? Did you build it as your private mechanism workshop or something? It's just like the stories say. The Adepti leave the human world, find somewhere to go be a hermit, and then they research and invent all these amazing things! One is simply not partial to the tedium of social interaction, and wished to find some peace and quiet. Find it one did. Shortly after which, you arrived bearing your sigil of permission. But enough. State the matter which brings you here at once. You have disturbed the tranquility of this place for long enough. Rex Lapis. Assassinated? How can this be? Such a heinous crime! Who would dare? The notion is so preposterous as to be unbelievable! One shall have to verify the truth of the matter independently. Perhaps one shall quash Liyue first, then convene with the other Adepti. Wait, what? Did you just say squash Liyue Harbor? Are you seriously gonna wipe out the whole city? Only a response of sufficient magnitude can negate the possibility of further incidents. It is as you say. We have protected Liyue Harbor under the leadership of Rex Lapis for 37 centuries. But in the face of this coup, by nefarious actors, exceptional measures must be taken. Yikes! Quick! You gotta think of something! She wants to squash Liyue flat! And it doesn't seem like she's bluffing! Exactly what Paimon was gonna say. We made all that delicious food and gave every last bit of it to you. We were hoping you might help Liyue out, not wipe Liyue out. Or at least let's, you know, discuss it first. Can't hurt for you to get a second opinion. Contract? A cruel irony that you should appeal to the notion after the merciless murder of the God of Contracts himself. The people of Liyue seem quite content to dispense with their contracts. They are quite adept at taking that which is composed of black and white and turning it gray. Nevertheless, since you come here in the name of Contracts, Far be it from one to abandon one's own contractual obligations. Least of all when you come bearing a sigil of permission. Rex Lapis infused these sigils with adeptal power when he first cast them. That power once aided humans in battle. Most of the sigil's power has long since worn off. It is but a keepsake now. This keepsake cannot be taken as proof of your trustworthiness. One must investigate the claims that you make independently. This, no doubt, is Mooncarver's very reason for summoning us. Your audience with the Adeptus before you is now concluded. Leave at once, and... <laughs> Oh, this seems 
to be Wang Shu Inn. Compared to Joy and Karst, this place seems basic. Are we really gonna find an Adeptus here? Let's take a look. Pima reckons he'll be on the balcony. <laughs> Doubt we're gonna find him in the kitchen. Huh? Oh, he's not here? To the blind, everything may not be as it appears. A sigil of permission? You came prepared. Though this only prevents me from hurting you myself, doesn't stop you from getting hurt in other ways. Uh... Paimon doesn't get it. Too much contact with our world is breaking the rules. Mortal souls are not as robust as those of Adepti, nor can your blood carry this level of Adeptal energy. It's for your own good. Leave. Now. Wait a sec! We came here to... Ugh! Paimon's... peeved! All he does is think about himself! Paimon wants to give him an ugly nickname. But if you take off an Adeptus, the only thing you'll probably ever find in treasure chests is cabbages. Blech. <sighs> Guess we should go ask the boss lady of the inn about just how she manages to talk to Adepti. met Xiao. Not bad. Not often he's in a good enough mood to agree to see people. That's his good mood? Oh yes. The Adepti are very hard to come by. Many people go their whole lives praying to them, never once actually getting to see one. When the Geo Archon built Liyue, he borrowed power from the Adepti, but most of them only know how to protect Liyue by fighting. So for many millennia, it has instead been humans who have led Liyue You really know a lot, huh, boss lady? <laughs> it's not boss lady, it's just boss. Anyway, seeing as you have the favor of the Adepti, things should be a lot easier. Well, if you want to know my opinion, if you keep Xiao in a good mood, things should be okay. Good mood? Can't really imagine what a good mood looks like for that vigilant yuck. <laughs> Will be interesting, won't it? Come to think of it. I've never seen him smile either. How about this? You go see the chef for a bowl of almond tofu and a plate of whatever it is you're best at making. Almond tofu is one of the few human foods Xiao likes. The other dish is up to you. Up to us, eh? Hmm, what do you think you're the best at cooking? Really hard to screw that one up, right? Can't you see I'm on a break, kid? Scram! Scram! Whoa! This chef guy's service is about as good as that Wagner guy's back in Mondstadt. <sighs> I see. If it's for the boss, then guess I don't have a choice now, do I? But my heart's not really in it right now. Not enough to make a dessert as painstaking as almond tofu. And why is that? A fencer's hand must be steady. So too must the hand of a chef. But my hands... I'm... They're not steady. Because, uh, a, a traveler once told me that this inn... is haunted. And then just now, just now, in the kitchen, I saw something. 
Something not right. This chef looks so intimidating, but speak of ghosts and he becomes weak. I keep thinking. Even Wang Shu In isn't safe. I can't keep a steady hand for something like almond tofu. All right. In the name of high quality almond tofu, we need to go check this kitchen out. Doesn't seem to be anything. What? Uh, uh, you saw it too. There really is... Uh, how could I... Uh... Okay, so he's useless now. What do we do? Forget it. Let's just go see the boss lady again. Something so insignificant. Hard to believe he was once a notorious bandit. You don't seem that afraid of ghosts, boss lady. Gods and ghosts. I've seen it all before. Come to think of it, others don't seem to know there's an Adeptus here at the inn except for the boss lady. Shh. Say any more and you'll be divulging my little secret. Right. Best you two be off. Go see to it that that little ghost doesn't go scaring anybody else. Not that I'm ordering you around. It's like the Adeptus said. Mortal souls are not as robust as those of the Adepti. So as not to be harmed when dealing with the Adepti, you can start by practicing with that ghost. But how should we persuade the ghost? There is a calligraphy painting in the inn known as the Witness Sigil. It's been in circulation for over a thousand years. Go take a look at it. Once you have, look for a place outside where you can see the exact same witness sigil formation.
way to travel. We'll need more where that came from.
Check this out!
What? You, you really got the ghost to promise to stop haunting the inn? <laughs> wow, you really are something. I am in your debt. Please, wait a moment. I'll make you the smoothest, silkiest bowl of almond toast. <laughs> My hands are steadier than ever now that she's gone. You two, again. Wait, don't go disappearing again! What's this? It's your favorite, almond tofu, as well as this distant traveler's best dish, a satisfying salad. Quick, tell him everything before he finishes eating. Rex Lapis. How could this be? I can't imagine it. Though times have changed, I've never imagined a Liyue without him. The ruling Qixing. Just what role have they played in this? <sighs> I will seek Mooncarver, Mountain Shaper, and Cloud Retainer. It is time they too made their decisions. Adepti do not turn on their responsibilities. I have my reasons to not want to be tainted by the mortal realm, but... Responsibilities are responsibilities. Our god is the god of contracts, after all. Wait! Paimon still has one last question! Hmm? That... Dusky Ming... She's... 
When conquering demons, on occasion, you can come across spirits who have never hurt anyone, yet are also not yet able to be moved on. So I asked the innkeeper and the boss if they could keep her here for a time. So really? Wang Shuin was looking after her! Really keeping a wide range of business going, huh? <laughs> <laughs>